Hi guys, so today I'll be trying out the new Spellbinders um, Kaleidoscope Argyle uh, die set. Um, they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. So, um, the other day we tried out the Circle um, Kaleidoscope when we made this card, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description box. Really sweet, really pretty. And this one's... Um, Similar but <laughs> completely different in that it um, makes like an argyle pattern or sorry or a diamond pattern, um, and you can use this however you like. So it is you know intended for a slim line, but however you want to use this or cut it or double it up or layer it in different ways. I am gonna make a slim line with it, but um, again you can play with that. So um, we have this area here, and you saw in the picture what we did there. So we're gonna um, use this a couple of times. Um, to go across our slimline card. And then again with the kaleidoscopes, basically what Spellbinders does is these layering pieces that go from chunky to thinner to thinnest and you layer them up that way. Um, so you can keep seeing all the different colors. And this one actually includes this uh, fourth piece that basically goes behind everything. So if you want to add a fourth color in, um, you can add this in. So we will definitely do that today. And then we have these little bits, and it pops out a whole bunch of them at once, and basically you can put those on top of the little dots, and we'll see if we're going to be using those today. I haven't decided yet, so I'll put that to the side. In my mind, I've already thought about what I want to use as far as colors for this for these pieces. So I just grabbed a bunch of Christmassy colors. I have some metallic, uh, matte metallic um, gold. I have some bright green, some darker green. I have some red glitter paper. I have some just red paper. Excuse me. So... I was kind of thinking about what I want to do. For this, I definitely want to cut it out with the gold. So I'm going to cut out two of these, maybe three. So I'll cut out two at first just to see what we need um, for it to work on our slim line. So I'll have that. Um, and then for these guys, I do want to bring the gold back in. And I think I'm, because you do see uh, this kind of peeking out these little areas here. I'm going to do the glitter with this one just in the back kind of shining through so I need um, a few of these what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and cut out the gold so we kinda know how many of these we'll need and then we'll cut out all the pieces okay so I have a few pieces here I think two might do it so let me just get this popped out Little ejector buttons there. Being very careful with it because it's nice and delicate. So I did cut a piece of paper down. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use this as a card base, but um, eight and a half. Our paper's already eight and a half inches wide by seven, and then we would score it at three and a half. So let me just do that real quickly. And then I do want to mat this. So this is just our base card for a slim line. If we're Create it by hand, and this is just the sizing I like. You know, go with whatever sizing you like for them. And then if I mat it up with something else, but I just want to see about how much of this do we need. And those overlap each other. Ah, okay, cute. That looks so pretty already. Um, what I'm going to do is pick a matte layer and we're going to glue this to the matte layer before we stick it onto our card base. So I know we're going to cut off a little bit of these end pieces. Um, they stick over the edge anyhow, so they're going to be cut regardless if I put them on here or, you know, however. So uh, I'm going to cut a matte piece that is, I want it to be just inside of here. So let's say these two are together like this, we cut that uh, let me actually measure this because I want it to be pretty close to thinking eight and like three eighths you know <laughs> but um, let's say we cut that there cut that one there and there yeah, we can do eight and a quarter. Okay, let's go eight and a quarter by three and a quarter then, and I'll be right back. So I have my paper here. I've been holding on to this paper forever. It's just a stack of paper that is already embossed. I did pick up um, 
all of the new Spellbinders uh, embossing slimline folders, so I hope those come in soon uh, from the holiday collection. Um, and they're not super holiday, there's like circles, um, stripes, and uh, diagonals. So I mean, you can use that for anything. I'm going to stick these two together first, I think that's best, and then we'll see where we need to put it on our card base. And then whatever is extra sticking out of this, or the argyle, or however I plan on doing this, I'm just going to cut it off then. So I'm just going to stick these two together and just kind of wait for that to set up. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as I look at this, when I go to put this down, I'm just kind of eyeballing kind of what's even. And I suppose you can use your grid if you put it on a gridded thing like this to kind of help you with that. Um, it looks like it should be right down the center of, what is this? one two three and a half four right on f what would be four and a quarter right right in there so i am going to make sure to put glue on these little dot dot dots these guys are going to get cut off so i'm not going to put glue there or else it'll be all over my mat right and then just a little bit on these guys i'm not too concerned but i'll go through and kind of get a little glue on those and some to the edge of that. And down here, and over here. Okay, again, that middle one. I'm gonna move this over just so I don't have to do the calculation again. I'm looking one, two, three, four, and a quarter. Right about there. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. That looks good. Okay. So I'm going to hold my pieces down and I'll be back. So I think I'm going to do three full ones. We'll see if we're going to do some on the side. You can do them on the top and you can fill this whole thing up, right? And then just cut off the excess, however you want to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, okay, so now we can get back to this. So now we know what we need. So from this one, I'm going to do the glittery red. I know it's going to be way in the back, but it's going to show through all, like, all the different little tiny layers here. So I'm going to do three of this on the glitter red. And then I'm going to go into the gold from there just to make it extra shiny, I think. So we will go to the largest one in the gold. And actually, yeah, I was saying cut it from these pieces. So these are the pieces that fell out from here. If you want to pop those back in or, or cut them out, you know, use this so you can just get these pieces to do a different color behind there before you put this on here. You can definitely play with that. Um, but what I can do is just cut uh, three of these out of those excess pieces and whatever else I have. Um, let's see, red, gold. Let's go with a... a bright green. So there's that one. And then the second thinnest. Hopefully you can see that. That one's kind of chunky. This one's a little bit thinner. I'll go with the bright green, so three of those. And then the very top is going to be another um, red. So this is just going to be red paper, like the card base. Yeah. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have all my pieces here. And um, as always, whenever you're cutting, you know, you cut out your piece, make sure to just clean everything out before you go to cut the next one, just so that any of these little pieces aren't obstructing um, the next cut. Okay, so this is going to be the very far back one. So what I'm going to do is just start putting these guys together, and I try to stay, you know, where they have larger, well, uh, larger areas. What's really cool about this design, and I'm uh, wanted to mention it before, is that it's very thin. Usually, what happens is all the different layers layer up in different ways, like thicknesses. But I don't know if you see this middle section here is always the same thickness so whatever you put on top is basically all it's going to show at the end it's just a really cool design and then um, again like I said if you want to use this section that gets cut out of here you can really make this argyle like five different colors right we have the three plus that background plus whatever else you might mat it onto so it's really cool and, you know I try to clean up whatever glue I see coming out here or there as I go along there's that one, and then this guy, and I'm just going to lightly put that on there, 
I just catch a little bit here and there. Um, again, you can put the glue in the back of your hand like I do um, if you want, but I think these are wide enough. So my challenge always when I pick Christmas colors is it does is it looking Christmas or is it looking more like May Ross the Fairy in, you know, with the red and the green and the yellow or so it's it, you know, I like to go with gold instead of yellow to kind of help from that or just anything else that doesn't it's kind of Christmas but maybe it's a little more Caribbean feel, you know. It just depends um what you choose. So hopefully this is going to be a good look at that. And that's kind of what I was going for, that sparkle in the background so pretty and there it is so I think for this one what I'm going to do is put the glue on here it looks like it goes around here it goes around here so I'm just kind of lining that up in the back I'm going to turn it over and make sure I have yep and it pretty much looks like you can play that wherever you want. Do you see how much of this is kind of out here and it's kind of hidden now? If the, I think if you sandwich it between other colors, you'll have like a different look, like in here. Let's say you put it here, and I'll show you what that might look like. So you can kind of play around with it. You see that? Where you're seeing pretty much all the red, none of the gold in the background. So if that was the case, I probably would just layer it this way. And then keep going from there, right? So just you know, play with it and see what you what you think. So I'm gonna do the other two just like this. Okay, I'm and I'll be ready. Pieces here. I'm going to put those to the side for just a minute because I'm gonna work on this part, and I'm just gonna trim this off. And all that is is just cutting off a little piece. Now we didn't have to cut. You know, I cut the paper down to eight and a quarter before I did anything. You could just wait and then cut it. You know, when you think. Time is right for that, but I'm just cutting that off, and then on this side I can line it up to eight and a quarter, and whatever cuts off is what I need to do. There's that, and there's that. And I'll probably take off this little bit that's left right here on the little circle just to get that cut off. So I'll just cut it off with some scissors, and I'll be right. So I do is grab my scissors and just nick it off right there, like. And it came off perfectly, just to keep that lined up. And I'm going to glue this down completely flat, and then I think I'm going to pop up the other pieces. We'll see. So from there to there. Okay, I'm going to let that set up, and I will be right back. Okay guys, you know, after looking at these, they're pretty nice and thick. I don't know that I need to pop them up. I think this will be good because there's dimension on them just because of the thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue them down. But if you want to pop them up on dimensionals, you know, go ahead. I feel like the what's really going to stick is actually that back piece. So I'm not even going to put glue on those other areas like I started to do. Yeah, so I'll stick this one down here and I'll glue this one down here and this one over here. I'll be right back. Okay, and to finish it off, again, we have these little guys. You can definitely cut these out in different colors or something glittery. Um, I have these pieces that I actually think are in the Christmas and July sale, if you guys haven't checked it out. Um, sparkle drops, and I was looking at the sizing on these. I think they're perfect for, like, popping them in here. Let's see. Let's make sure I'm sticking around there. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pop one of these in each and every single little circle and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, you guys, that just pops that right up. Look at that. Um, and then I'm going to, I, you know, I went and grabbed this again from an old card kit that I have, a Spellbinders cards kit, card kit, I think from 2019. And I'm going to pop that, I think, on there. Yeah, that'll look nice. So. Of course, we want to show as much of that as we can. So what I think I'm going to do is put a dimensional behind the Y and then um, glue the other pieces down to the actual card itself. So I think that'll work. Let's take a look at that again. This goes this way here. 
kind of like in there. I think that's cute. Okay, so there's that. And then I'll glue this down there and a little bit over here. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's that beautiful kaleidoscope um, argyle. Again, you know, you can play this up with different colors. It's, uh, I think, a year-round type set. Um, both of them really are. Here's the other one, the circle. You know, just don't put the ornament, and you just have a beautiful circle um, die that you can play with, and this whole set here, and then we have this guy here. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have images for you. I'll have the links in the description box. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for our review. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.